Today I'm going to be showing you how to go from no projects to having your very first live project for a membership program with an existing membership database. The main purpose of this video is to show the different steps that we believe are the best order to go in when going from you know no projects to getting your first live project out there. A lot of the questions we get from our users are, I have X, Y, and Z done, but what else do I need to do in order to get my project live? So that's mainly what I'm gonna be going over today. Most of the videos we do are about specific features, and this is more about the whole process. So the whole video is gonna be less about the depth of each feature that we go over and more about the breadth of the whole process. So I won't be going super deep into each feature, but we'll show kind of best steps to go forward from having kind of no projects to having one that you can actually issue to, to real people. This video will definitely be helpful for you if you're having trouble understanding where to go next. And if you already have some of these steps done and you're looking for where to go next, I would highly, highly recommend uh, sticking around throughout the rest of the video. So a few prerequisites for this. I'm going to be using a fresh account. I've already validated my email address and one other thing you'll need is uh, you'll need to have signed up for an Apple developer account. And I, I won't be doing that within this within this demo. So those are the, the two main things that, that I've kind of done from the background, but I'll go through I'll go through everything else. So in order to get started, the first thing I want to do when thinking about my membership program is how much will this cost me? So we have a really nice tool to help you out with that. It's over here in the top right hand corner of the portal. If I drop this down, if you go to billing, this is uh, the billing page for when you haven't inputted a credit card yet. So down here below the fold a bit is a pricing calculator for membership cards and loyalty and uh, coupons. I'm going to be using a membership card for this one. So let's say for the sake of the demo, I have 100 members. So I wanna know how much is that going to cost me month by month and you know what's the breakdown per, per pass per member. So in here, it's a really neat tool. All I need to do is just put in 1500 and then this tells me that my monthly cost is going to be $104.50. My average cost per member is going to be seven cents. This is all in uh, US United States dollar. So you can do this for you know any number of members, as many as you want, you can just put them in here and you'll get a reading out for what you'll exactly be paying on a month by month basis, just as a good way for you to tell, tell what you're gonna be paying and kind of predict if the, if the tool is, is right for you. So I've done this for my 1500 members, I like the price. Next thing to do is to actually put in your credit card. So this is one of the key steps in order to go in live. There are a few, what we call milestones that we need to do. So this is going to be the upgrade account bit. I'm going to upgrade to premium by putting in my credit card. So I'm in a development environment, so I can use a, a dummy card here. So we're not, we're not really giving any, any, uh, any secrets away here. Okay, put in your address, and then upgrade to premium. So this will upgrade me to premium, and this will give me a brand new screen. So now this is the billing page for accounts that have added a credit card. It's got a summary of how much I've how much I've consumed for the month. It's got a breakdown of all the different projects that I have, and I can see my invoices down here as well. So that's all good. Got my credit card in now. I haven't been charged anything yet. Now the next uh, step in this is to upload an Apple certificate. You can upload Apple certificates here in the certificates tab of the account. We have a really good video already that goes kind of deeper into the different fields and how to do this. I'm gonna do it in this one, but I'm gonna do it much, much faster just to kind of show the steps, step by step, how to go through it. So to get started, Apple certificate, download CSR. This will download my certificate signing request to my computer. Next, I need to head over to the Apple Developer Portal. So this is the uh, Apple Developer account that I mentioned earlier. So I've already got mine. Go into Account, Certificates Identifiers, and then I want to go to Identifiers, Add New Identifier, Pass Type ID, Description, Demo Certificate, My Identifier, One, Continue, Register. Now I need to find this identifier, so I'm going to do just Demo One, Search for that demo certificate. So now this is all good. So now I need to create. 
choose file, take my certificate signing request, put that in there, continue, download, have my certificate. Now I need to drag and drop that into the portal here. Cool. And now that's been uploaded. So now I have my certificate. So now I'm ready to issue passes for my live projects. Now that I've got all my account setup stuff out of the way, next I want to create a demo, play around with that, make it look how I want to look. And then once I'm all set with that, then we're going to put it into production so we can actually issue passes against it. So to start that, I'm going to create my demo project here, new projects, and then I'm going to create a loyalty card. And for this, I'm just going to take all the defaults that are given. So I'm just going to take all this, create my new program. Cool. Now I want to hop into the design and make a few changes to this. So I'm going to keep all these defaults, but because I'm using the existing membership program, I have a set of IDs that already exist that I want to include in my pass records so I can retrieve them in my own system. And I want those available on the pass. So I'm going to hop over to barcode really quick, and then I'm going to change the barcode content from this, which is the passkit issued ID, to external ID. So this will map to the external ID that's uh, held within the membership record. And when we actually issue issue members, uh, you'll see where this comes into play. But this is just the only thing I'm going to change here. I'm going to keep the defaults for everything else. And then, so I've got my demo design. Excellent. Now I'm going to test this out. So I want to see kind of what this looks like before I actually go live. So luckily inside of these demo accounts, all the passes that you issue are do not go toward your final bill. They are test passes that look like the real thing, but will auto invalidate themselves in 48 hours. And they also have a disclaimer on the back that says, you know, this is a test pass. So both of those things will go away when we go live. Inside the portal, I can issue cards from the portal here. So I'm gonna add in my external ID here. And then I believe I had full name and email address as well. So let's add these, now add this. So now I've created a test member. Now I wanna test this. So I'm gonna take a look at the pass URL. This is the pass URL for the member I just created. Now let's take a look at it inside of Chrome. You can see what the Google Pay version looks like through here. Save that. Card. So this is what this will look like for Google. So everything everything checks out. I've got my external ID in here, not the passkit ID, so that's great. Exactly what I was looking for. Name shows up, tier shows shows up. So we are we're all set there. So next thing I want to do, let's actually go back to this. I want to see what this looks like for Apple. So in order to make that happen, I need to hop into Safari and then visit this in Safari. So let's take a look at the Apple version. So this is my Apple version. It's got my name, tier points, images, colors, everything checks out. If I flip over to the back, everything is as expected. So that's great. So it's always a good idea before you set your project live check out the pass inside of a kind of a test environment to make sure everything looks good. So now that I've got this all looking good, I'm happy with the design. I've got all my account stuff set up. Now the next thing to do is to actually make this project live so I can issue my existing members into this membership program where I can, I can put them into. In order to go live, let's go back to the overview page. So this box here on the left hand side is where you can create a test project and make it into a live project. So you can choose a new name for this. I'm gonna keep the name the same. And then the only other thing I need to do is select the certificate that we uploaded before and then launch project live. I've been redirected into the actual project that I just created. So this is now my live project. And if I go back to my projects list, I can now see I have two projects. The one I was working on before, which is the test and the one that I just created, which is a live project. These are identical in terms of their designs and their configuration. It's the only difference is this one is able to issue membership cards in a live, in a live status. Now that I'm in this, the next thing that I wanna do is I have 
of an existing membership database and I want to add them to my new loyalty program. So I'm going to use our SmartPass links generator to do that. It's the fastest, most uh, economical way to do it because the links that I generate there are not actually members. Not until the link is actually clicked and I'll give a quick demo of that. So I've already created a CSV for this. We have a good demo video for SmartPass links as well that goes into a lot more detail on how to get all this stuff set up. But for the sake of the demo, I've got all my you know valid information here. Uh, pretend that I have 1,500 members in this. I've got five just for the sake of the demo. I've got all their information set up here correctly. And all I need to do is then run the Smart Pass Links Generator tool to create all these members. So the way we do that is I'm actually in the folder that has the executable in it as well as this uh, CSV behind there. And then all I need to do is initialize the prompt. So this is my the file that's going to be created by this program that will have my new links in it. So for URL, I'm going to hop back into the portal here. Inside of my live project, I need to go to distribution, smart pass links, and then here's my passkit URL. I'm going to copy that. Back to my command line. That's the URL I want to issue it to, and then I need the key as well. So the project key is right down here. Copy that. Issue that. Execute. So generation complete. Five records processed and written to out.csv. So now if we see here, before I have the generator and in, now I have generator in and out. So let's have a look at out. So if I open this, so now I've got out.csv. So now if we open up out, it's identical to in, except for we've added a new column here on the right, the SmartPass URL. So these are what SmartPass links look like. These are links that have membership information encoded into them, or they can't be tampered with at all. Once, a mem once somebody clicks on this link, it will actually create the membership record. So right now, these are five potential membership records. So if I go back into the portal just to kind of demo this, if I go into my members for this live project, I don't have any. So even if I reload the page, go back and look, I have no members. And that's the power of these smart pass links is that let's say I had 1500 members and I create 1500 smart pass links and I distribute them to all my members and only 750 of them click on the link. I won't be charged for 1500 members. I'll only be charged for 750. That's one of the, one of the main benefits of using these links. If I was to click on one of these, so if I click on this one here, This takes me to this page, and this issues the membership card. So now this is a membership record in the Pasket, Pasket database. Now, if I reload this page, I now have a new member, edit member, and if I look in the personal info, full name, email address, and external ID, one, two, three. So that matches everything that I put in here. So now I have this member. So if you can imagine, you send all these out to your members through whatever you know distribution channels that you have with this link in it. They click on the link, they get the card, and then whoever clicks on it, you can see them in here. So now I have a live membership program with membership uh, records uh, available to be issued from within a SmartPass Links CSV. I've got all my account information set up and ready to go. And that's uh, that's really, that's the main process that you would need to go through to go from kind of nothing to having a live project that you can actually issue real passes. Appreciate that there is a lot of stuff that goes into each one of the steps that were in this video. But again, this was a lot more geared toward just showing all the different steps and how they link together and how how you can go from having no projects at all to having your own live membership program that you can issue members into and you know really supercharge your customer experience hope this helps and uh, we'll see you again next time